Hi everybody and welcome back to some more Ride 2 here on this channel. I'm KPG Guna here and in today's episode guys we're going to be testing out another DLC bike from the Limited Bikes Pack. Now this one is going to be a really, really good bike. I cannot wait to test this one out. I'm a big fan of the make of this bike so we're going to get straight into it and show you what bike we're going to be testing out. So here we go. And the bike is the Aprilia RS34 Factory. Now, I absolutely love the look of this bike. I've heard so many good things about it. And I used to have an RS3 Mili a few years ago and I absolutely loved it um, in the same colours. But the only reason why I got rid of it is because I wanted a newer bike and I got a Fireblade. But this bike looks awesome. I've heard it handles like a 600, but with the power of 1,000cc. I'm not sure how this is going to be against the other bikes in its class. I'm not sure if it's the fastest, but it's supposed to handle really, really well. So that is the test today. We're going to do two races and see what this is like against the other bikes in this class this could be a good episode guys so let's get straight into it and the tour that we're going to choose two races from is the gp hypersport there's quite a few uh, circuits in this tour uh, we're going to choose two from here and then the other ones we'll do on a different bike. But the first one I want to do is Nürburgring GP. This should test this bike out. It's got some really, really challenging corners on. So let's see if this Aprilia is as good as F1 says it is. So let's get straight into the first race. Right, guys, let's just quickly check out the options. I'm really looking forward to this race, guys. It's going to be awesome. Now, I'm going to put anti Willy on high because this bike has got a lot of brake horsepower. It's going to be really hard to handle. Let's see what we're up against. Or oh, another Aprilia, BMW, Ducati or fire blades or oh, this should be a really really good race let's get straight into it right guys so here we go with the first race on the aprilia this is going to be so tough against some of the bikes in this field but we're going to try our best and see if we can get a victory but it's not going to be easy let's see if we can get a good start here that's not too bad no 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 the front wheel's gone up that's going to slow us down a bit even with anti willy on high now we haven't made any adjustments for the bike either guys it's on default settings so let's see what it's like on default settings. that's not too bad through there nice and smooth let's try and get a nice turn oh god a little bit of contact there as i tried to squeeze into that corner Corner. and let's try and get a good drive down the hill the front wheel's still bobbing up again let's try and get a nice turn oh god almost side swiped the bike in front there but uh, let's try and slip past i think that's another ducati yes that's another ducati let's see if we can get past him another bit of contact there and this hasn't been a bad start but loads of bikes have bombed off and we're getting a left behind here let's try and squeeze up the inside here and yes it's nice into the corners and we managed to gain a face we got past the other aprilia and we're sitting behind three uh, awesome vehicles here so we're going to have to be really really good we've got a bm i think there's a ducati and the and i think that's a cbr out in front so three three very strong bikes to try and compete against let's see if we can get past oh god a little bit of contact there and uh we've just tried to steady ourselves there let's try and get a nice turn let's try and get past this bm if we can and we managed to slip up the inside that was awesome can we flip it over touch the curb slightly there but hold on to it onto the curb and oh god the ducati totally lost it there and the cbrs managed to get away oh my god that ducati went flying off the circuit there and almost went straight into me as it returned to the circuit but we managed to get through there okay we touched too much of the curb there and that can be really challenging but this cbr is absolutely flying away i knew this would be a difficult race to win and we're going to have to beat one of my favorite bikes to get a victory the cbr fireblade now, I knew that bike would be pretty good around here as well because it's another bike that handles very well at, in this category. So we're going to have to be really good into the corners. Um, we're definitely not going to be faster on the straights. Uh, no, look at it. Powers away. So we're going to have to be just better in the corners. And we've still got a BMW sitting behind us as well. So we've got to be aware of that bike as well. And the Ducati, if that Ducati managed to regain himself. Right, let's try and get a nice turn into there. Slow it down. Get nice and tight. Oh, that was really tight there. And uh, let's see if we can get a nice drive up the hill. We've got the BMW. I think that's the BMW trying to get up the inside. But we're managing to hold him off. And let's see if we can get a nice drive down the hill. Again, that front wheel's bobbing up. We might have to put that on full for the next race because that is posing to be a, quite a problem. And again, oh my God, almost lost it completely there. And we're just managing just to stay in touch with this CBR. But we've got to get closer. This race is going to be very, very quick. Only been three laps. Let's try and get a nice turn in there. Trying to keep it nice and smooth. It's feeling pretty good on the default sense. And we've really caught up through that corner. But then again, the CBR's just driving away as we get onto the straight. It's definitely gonna. It's definitely got a little bit more punch in its acceleration. 
and that's where we're just losing it and again we lost it a little bit into that corner but it's still feeling very steady and we're trying to close the gap down right we've got to get through this bit a little bit cleaner than we did in the first lap and not hit the curb if we can let's try and keep it in the middle flip it over that was much better stayed off the curb a lot quicker and hopefully we should gain a bit of time on the cbr let's get nice and close into that corner oh that was awesome that felt very very good and we've closed the gap down can we get a nice turn and we've dived up the inside oh god he just touched my back wheel and he managed to regain the lead that was a risk and look guys the cbr is awesome and managed to reply straight away and now he's pulled away this is not going to be easy to win. It's going to be such a close race. And we've got the BM catching up with us as well. It's right behind me, which I can hear. And it's not going to be very, very good having a bike sitting right on my shoulder as we go into some of these tough corners. And we've gone slightly wider into that corner. It's going to cost us a bit of time. The CBL is going to get a nice drive over the finish line into the last lap. It's all down to cornering now, guys. We know we can't beat it on the straights, but can we beat it in the corners? We've got to have a good lap, and we've just hit the fastest lap, so we are running a decent pace. I see if we can get a nice turn into there. Oh, God, we had a better corner into there than the CBR, but again, the CBR pulled away. As soon as it puts that power down, we are just losing it. But the, the Aprilia is better in the corners, and hopefully we can get him. And we have closed it down, trying to hold a nice speed through there, flip it over, and we are closing in. Let's try and get in his slipstream, and again, he's pulled away. We're going to have to take a risk sooner or later to get past him if we want to win this race. And we're hit a faster time at that split point. We are running as quick as we can. This is going to have to be an amazing last lap to win it. But I'm going to try my best to try and get a nice drive into there. I'm really, really struggling here to find that little bit of speed. And again, the front wheel bobbed up and lost us a bit of time as well. Let's try and get a nice turn into there. We've got to get tighter and we've gone a little bit wider. But we can regain ourselves and we are closing in. And we're getting really, really close to him. Could we dive up the inside here if we can get a nice speed through this corner? We've got to go for it. No, we, we weren't close enough. And he's managed to pull away. And he got right onto the curb there. That must have slowed him down the slight bit. We've got to try and take him in this corner. Let's try and take a risk. Let's slow it down. Let's slip up the inside. Yes, we managed to slip up the inside. But is the CBR going to get past us in the next corner? Oh, no. I managed just to close him down. And we've turned it in. But are we going to hold it? He's just touched my exhaust there, as you saw, guys. Oh my God, this race is really hotting up into the final corners of the race. Are we going to manage to get into this next couple of corners and beat the uh, CBR? Because we know it's got better acceleration out the corners. We've got to slow it down. No, no, we've got into that little bit hot. Turn it in. Oh, the CBR's going to come around the outside, but we managed to close it down. Coming to the final corner. We've got to nail this, guys, because we know the CBR is quicker coming out the slow corners. And we turned it in. We're not really tight. It's right behind us. Is he going to get in our slipstream and beat us to the line? It's coming up, guys. This is going to be a close... Is he going to go down to the line? Here it comes. But we just managed to do it. Oh, my God, guys. That was a close, close race. But we managed to beat it. But that Aprilia is awesome in the corners with no adjustment, guys. But these races are going to be very, very close. Now we're going to go into another race and see if we can beat. Hopefully, it might be a different field of bikes. But this bike is awesome. I hope you enjoyed that race. Now let's go straight into another one and see if we can get another decent result. So here we go. Right, guys, now we're going to test it around Vanalunga. Now, this should be interesting. Now, this bike is supposed to be good at cornering. This circuit's going to test it out. So we're going to get straight into it. And hopefully, we will get a different field of bikes. So here we go. Right, guys, here we go with this race. Uh, let's have a look at what we're up against. Oh, God, we're up against some HP4s. The Bimota BB3. I don't think I've raced against one of them. That should be interesting. Right, we've put it on full this time, guys. Anti-wheelie. Hopefully that will help. Let's get straight into the race. I really had to catch my breath after that really close first race. I'm expecting this one to be pretty tough too. But let's see if we can get a good start. Now we've got Anti-wheelie on full now, so that should make a difference. And it's held that front wheel down, which is good. Let's try and get a nice turn into this first couple of corners. And we've managed to slip up the inside there. Hold it, hold it. So we've got a Kawasaki in front of us. Um, and I think we've got the HP4 and the uh, Bimota. I've never seen one of these Bimota BB uh, freeze. So I'm not sure what they're going to be like, but let's see if we can compete against them. That's not bad through there. Nice first couple of corners, and we're sticking with the front uh, two, so that's awesome. And let's try and get the slipstream of this BMW. Let's try and slip up the inside. 
and see if we can take that place. But the HP4 is another awesome bike, guys, as we already know, because we've had a goal of them um, in this walkthrough, but we haven't tried that Bimota. I've tried a couple, and they have been pretty decent bikes, but I didn't know they had one as strong as that in this race, and it is leading the race. The Bimota is holding its own here, so let's see if we can get a nice turn in there. And them two seem a lot quicker out the slow corners. And the Kawasaki is still sitting on my shoulder. And this isn't uh, proving to be an easy race on this first lap. But we're sticking with the lead uh, leaders. So we're doing okay. Slow it down. Oh, God. The back end just kicked up slightly there. But we've managed to get a nice turn into there. And we are sticking with these two. Can we slip up the inside here of the BM? No. Oh, God. Just had to slow it down there. Wasn't enough room to get past in that corner. And we are still sitting in third place. Let's see if we can just stick with them and just try and get past in one of these corners. And we are trying to hold it through there. They can just feel the back end just wanting to pull around slightly. Again, we haven't made any adjustments to the bike. Um, but uh, this is going okay. But um, we've just done a decent time for the first lap. But um, it's what sort of time are these bikes going to put in for the second lap? And we just lost a little bit of control there. And it's pulled us to the left. But we managed just to fight our way back into the circuit. Oh my God, really lost it there uh, as we turn into that section. That can be really difficult. And we've lost it slightly into that corner. And we're losing a bit of ground on the two in front. I knew this race would be difficult. But uh, I didn't realise it would be as difficult as this. But we're up against two very, very powerful bikes i don't know what the stats are like on the bermota but i know the stats on the hp4 are bloody good so we are really up against it here i don't think this is going to be as easy uh, to win as i thought it would be looking at uh, the field i thought this would be easier than the first race but i'm being proved uh, very very wrong but again, that front wheel's gone up even with anti really on full. Let's try and get a nice turn into there. And that's not too bad. Let's try and get a nice drive into this next right-hand turn. We've got to try and get past one of these bikes in this lap. Otherwise, we're going to go into the final lap not having a chance to get past. And we've got to get closer. Let's try and dive up the inside here. Oh, God, gone for it. We've got past the BM. Awesome corner there. But just had a little bit of a moment there as so we try to tap the power on. And we're right behind the Bermota. And we're struggling to get a nice turn into that corner because we were going way too fast we're really trying to get any slipstream and it's going to go down to the final lap can we get past him yes we managed to slip past him with a little bit of contact but no the promoter's got a back at me there oh my god this is going to be a repeat of the first race where we are really really close going into the final corners of the race right we've got now this section here we've mucked it up and we managed to turn it in this time that's awesome but we need to flip it over and just hold the bike and slow it down into this right hand turn this can be difficult let's try and get tight we went slightly wider last time and we are over half a second quicker this time so we have absolutely nailed it there you go guys there's the Aprilia Superior corner in, and we've managed to hold it, and we are leading the race on this final lap. But I don't think the Bermota and the BMW are finished yet, so we're going to have to make a decent corner here. And we've held it really tight. Again, superb, even with the default settings, but we've just lost a bit of time um, coming up to this next split time. But we've got to now this corner here, turn it in. He's right going up the inside, but we managed to hold him. I just saw his front wheel. Oh, my God, this is going to go really, really close into the final quarters let's try and get a nice turn into there that's not too bad try and keep that front wheel down and the bermota has gone around the outside he's gone around the outside but let's just hold that inside line and just try and just hold it into this next couple of slow corners and we're still holding the lead and now we've got to now this corner here he's gone right into me there and i think he's oh my god where's he gone oh he's come off Oh my god, he's come off. He hit the curb. And the BM's taking up me up the inside, but I'm not having none of that. Gone back up the inside. Oh god, this is gonna be close. Hold it into that corner. Oh my god, what happened there, guys? The Bermota caught up my bike in the inside, then went over the curb and went straight across the front of me, uh, but luckily did knock me out. And then the BM took advantage, but we got back at him. What a finish to a race! Oh my dear lord. Again, very, very close. How the hell did I manage to stay on? But it was only minimal contact. We're going to have to have another look at that, guys. What a close race. I love this category of bikes. We're definitely going to have to do some more races on this category. We're going to have a look at the end of the video, guys. Uh, I'm going to give you some choices of bikes we're going to do in the next video. I think two of them will be a DLC bike and one that's not. So we're going to get straight into a replay of that, guys. I've got to have another look at that because that was so close in the end there. So let's have a look. 
So this is coming to the end and the promoter goes round the outside, but I managed to hold that inside line. But the promoter gets an awesome drive out of that corner and he dies up the inside, but makes contact and he loses control of the front end bike. Hits the curb, goes straight across, but luckily I managed to turn it in, but he did clip my back wheel. But the BM slips up the inside, but I managed to squeeze past in that corner and managed to get a nice turn in there before he managed to get a good inside line. What an awesome finish to the race. Luckily, I managed to pull it off. But sometimes, guys, he could have wiped me out and then I wouldn't have got the win. But sometimes you get a bit of luck and we finish off with a decent wheelie. So there you go. I must admit, guys, the pace of that race was really, really quick. I mean, uh, my fastest lap of 137.4 was pretty decent for that circuit. But um, we're definitely going to have to try that Bermota BB3. That was an I couldn't believe how hard that was to keep up with. We haven't tried that one. We've tried the HP4. Um, I think we've tried a Kawasaki. So we're definitely going to have to try that. Now we're going to get into some bikes. They're coming next, guys. And I want you to choose which one you want to see. So here we go. The first bike is a free DLC bike. It's the Suzuki GSX-R K5000cc. And now we're going to get into another free DLC bike. And it's the Kawasaki ZX 1400, the highest CCC bike in the game. Um, it's not going to handle very well. Very, very big and heavy, but it's interesting. So let me know if you want to see this one. And let's get into the final bike to choose from. And this bike I got on a uh, infiltration event. It's the uh, Yamaha R1. It's down to you guys. Let me know in the comments below which one you want to see next in the next episode. Any of these would be brilliant. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye guys. See you later.